Hello everybody and welcome back for another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Where we left off, I got absolutely destroyed by the Sith Lord in the Sith uh, Academy, Sith Base. So, I'm heading back to the main town area to hit up some vendors and see if there's anything I can outfit my characters with that'll give me a much better fighting chance. Because that was not good. That was not cash money, alright? So... <laughs> Let's do what we can to outfit our characters a little bit better. All right, first things first, we're going to check out the droid shop to see if we can uh, help T3 out with some better gear. And it looks like we have options. Uh, basic targeting. No, light plating. Okay, defense three, defense four. Basic targeting computer. Maybe. Sensor probe, demolitions plus two. Computer use, security, um, deflection energy, sonic cold, heat. Okay, so that's an elemental shield. <clears throat> stun ray and shield disruptor. Uh, stun, 100% for 9 seconds. DC 15 to negate stun. That might be very good. Oh, hold on. Let's see what we're rocking right now first. Let's see. He's got droid plating uh, type 1, so he could have that upgraded. His blasters are good. Um, wait, no. Here. Here's where I'm looking. So yeah, he does have blading, plating type 1. He has a regular energy shield, which doesn't really help us for this fight. Uh, he has a shield disruptor and a s flamethrower. So, you know what? I don't think he had a shield. Let me let me verify real quick whether or not he had a shield. Okay, so I have confirmed that he indeed did have a shield. So having the shield disruptor is good. Uh, the flamethrower is probably really good damage wise against him. However, a stun ray is probably more beneficial for the other characters involved. Uh, a sensor and two utility slots. Uh, so we gotta buy something for those. Let's see what you got, lady. Um, we can upgrade the armor, but first I do want to check the sensors. Um, sensor and two probes, right? Um, basic targeting computer. Bonus feet, weapon focus, blaster, pistol. Um... I think he already has that. Battle droids come factory ready for combat. Okay. Uh, security interface tool. Don't need it. Don't need it right now. Stun ray disruptor. Um, okay, so I don't think any of these actually help us for the fight. Other than this one. Um, I will, since I have uh, the availability, grab... I want to say probe probe security and computer use those are both very good um, for him so I'll grab those let's go ahead and equip a computer probe and security interface tool now a sensor were any of those things a sensor that's what I need to check. Okay. Um, hmm. Is this a sensor? Or a probe? Because it has the same picture as a probe. Uh, droid upgrade class 1. Yeah, 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 yeah. Environment shield. I have a feeling this is also a probe. So I'm going to hold off on buying it since it is so expensive. And I think we already did buy the armor. So let's go ahead and swap that out real quick. Cool. All right. Our droid is yes. good to go. So we are going to move on to the next vendor and see what we can get for <clears throat> Bastila as well as our main character here. Uh, South City Apartments. Um... 
Sith base, lower city. Yeah, upper city south is where we need to go. I'll see you there. Okay, so we are coming up on the medical medical Welcome shop. Back. So we're definitely going to want to buy um what do you got for sale? Med packs. And they're not too expensive, so we'll go ahead and grab all five of these. Um, bio antidote package. This implant maintains an ever circulating system of antitoxins in the user, increasing relevant antidotes for specific poisons induced. Nah. Um, mind affecting immunity. Didn't he stun me? He might have. I think he did. Um, we don't need any more adrenals. I will get this nerve package. One, since it's all she's got. Um, let's see here. Oh, no? Why not? Do I not have the feet? I don't have the prerequisites for it. Okay, good to know. I will, I will get that. Um, let's see. What does Bastila have? She has her lightsaber on. Um, she can't put on any armor because she's a Jedi. Um, head, nothing for her head. No items can be equipped in this slot. And she doesn't have the prerequisite for uh, the package either. So, what does this do? Damage resistance versus bludgeoning? She's not going to be bludgeoned anytime soon, I don't think. I fight he was using a bladed weapon, so we'll give her fortitude. Um, and let's see what we can actually put on our main guy here. Um, he's wearing the fortitude one also. Yeah, I think we're good. Uh, we're not going to give him an offhand. He's good with the one. Is Mission's weapon a an upgrade? That's a question. It is. Wait, everything is an upgrade from this thing? Wait, no. It's just showing the numbers. Uh, okay, so 8 to 17. Yeah, nothing's beating 8 to 17 right now. So we're good with what we got. Um, yeah, I think this is the best we're going to be able to do. Uh, you can heal me up, Welcome right back. there, guy? Uh, I could use some healing. Yes. Thank you. Cool. Now... Something we also need to do... Uh, pay attention to when we go into this fight is buffing before we go in because having alacrity going in as well as having valor going in is probably a very good thing <laughs> that will uh, make this a little less painful on ourselves all right Kebla what you got uh, let's see what you got for sale that is really good. I think that is actually an upgrade from anything else we have. Um, yes, because I have these other ones. Uh, we should probably buy that. All right, all right. I can't. I can't be going completely broke. That just wouldn't be any good for anybody. Um, let's go ahead and put that new gear on. Oh, maybe it's not better. Crap. Well, I got another piece of gear for somebody else. And I'm broke for it. Alright, that's fine. We'll live with that decision. Uh, okay, so we'll go back to the Sith base and I will see you there. Okay, okay everybody, we are back. Um, so it looks like the I can put on Force Valor. As well as burst of speed ahead of time. Sure. And now we're gonna go on in. See if things are a little bit different this time. Who dares to break my Okay, so 
Turn away from the dark side, it won't lead you to anything but this uh, destruction. Your Sith must be fought for judgment and all the blood is spilled. I think if we tried to turn him, but it was terrible. Spoken like a yeah. Okay. First things first, this guy is going to put on a shield. So we're going to want to disrupt that. Uh, let's try a stun ray first, though. Nope. Okay. Um, dis shield disruptor. Sure. Dude, attack. What are you doing? There we go. There we go. Oh, this is a whole different story this time. What? What? What changed? Okay. I'll take it. I probably didn't need to go buy all that stuff, but hey. Um, Terrace launch codes: adrenaline amplifier, energy shield, strength gauntlets. We like that. And a neural band. Cool. Quest updated. Anything in this room, sir? Oh, yes. Credits. 500 of them. And this one? Dura still bonding alloy. Computer spikes. Security spikes. And light battle armor. Nice. Alright, we are done here. Alright. Making my way back. See you in a second. All right, so I did level up from that fight, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. Attributes. Um, you know, we're gonna bump our strength. And in skills, we're gonna put a point in persu- Oh, I can't. Uh, we'll save it for persuasion. Feats. Um, ba 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 ba. Uh, we could up our persuasion and awareness and treat injury. I think that's a good call right now. So we already maxed our proficiency. Wait a minute. Uh, gain three to attack and three to defense. See, that's really good. Let's actually get that first. But now that these things are filled out, we'll probably move on to increasing our treat injury skill, just so the heals are a little bit better. And then after that, probably go for our conditioning. Okay. So I now realize I was reading the XP wrong. It's when this number becomes this number, I get my next level. I didn't need 36,000 to hit my next level. Much better. M much easier to uh, comprehend. Okay. Moving on, we need to go back to Candorus, which I believe is in the under, under city, lower city uh, cantina. Oh, we need to heal our droid. He's hurting a little bit, but he has plenty of repair kits, which is great. Uh, no. Now, sure. there we go. Ooh. All right. Make sure nothing uh happens along the way. Senor, I have the lunch codes. I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this planet. Let's we work together. Fair. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break-in. And I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need. So what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base. And right to the Ebon Hall. We can go right now. Sounds like a plan, sir. Okay, let's join up. But how are we going to get me inside Davik's estate? Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race. <clears throat> Mention that you're interested in working for the exchange. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's okay. the procedure. This is too risky. We should find another way. You got another plan, sister? Best that you're always against the ideas that are going to get us moving forward. I don't have another plan. I would rather not place my life in your hands, however. I can say the same about you. That makes us even. Fortunately, we both want to get off this rock, right? While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape, Taurus. Come on. I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taurus, the better. Let's do it. Alright, Mandalorian friend. Oh, you are full dark already. Okay. <laughs> and then, who else do we want? 
Yeah, I'm inclined to go with the droid and Candorous. Bastila is a little frustrating right now. Plus, the droid's got computer skills, the repair, uh, repair skills. It's handy. And security. Who are we looking at? can't remember if that's Davik's estate or Mel it's Malik's shit. Okay. You summoned me, Lord Malik. The search for Bastila is taking too long. We cannot risk her escaping Taris. Destroy the entire planet. The entire planet. It's a good thing we're getting off. But there are billions of people on Taris. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent He's civilians. a Sith. Not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. That's a warning, sir. Uh, of course not, my lord. Yes, Madden. yes, yes. I will do as you command, <clears throat> but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Was that a mind trick? Yes, Lord Malik. He has that ability? He did the little hand wave. So, Candorous, I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorous. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Gallo. You may be the newest cat hound in the pack, but you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Candorous has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Dalek. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider won the big swoop race. Very impressive, as was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. Yes. Uh, it wasn't. It's was nothing I couldn't handle. Bridget had to learn that cross, double crossers tend to end up dead. I didn't know you were a swoop fan. I didn't know you were a swoop fan. A casual fan at best, but everyone on Taris follows the big season opener. But we have more important issues to discuss now. With the recommendation from Candorous and a thorough background check, you could become part of the exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Your offer intrigues me, Davik. Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. <coughs> ah, there she is. The Ebonhawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the outer rim. Party indeed. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto-targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. Hmm. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. These will be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. We're just gonna keep the uh keep the ruse going. I'm looking forward to look uh I'm looking forward to working with you, Davik. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. 
Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callum. Let us leave our guests in peace. It sounded like a challenge. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. Yep. I agree. Oh, we gotta level up Candorous. Skills. Let's see. Demolitions, of course. Treat injury will keep treat injury going. Feats. Uh, you're already using a two-handed blaster. You already maxed that out. Good for you. Good for me. Um, should we give him rapid fire? Or should we work on some basic skills? Physical conditioning. Uh, plus one to all saving throws. Cybernetic implants level up. Oh, I could have. Could have used that on the main character. Dang it. Um, you know, we'll get him the cybernetic one. You have selected all your available feats for this level. Uh, what do you, what do you, what do you mean? I didn't select any. Is he not able to get the, the implant yet? Uh... Where? When did I? What? No, I didn't select this. Thank you. There we go. He gets a chip. All right, skills again. Treat injury. Feats. Uh, we got level one implants already. I don't think we need to upgrade that just yet. Yeah, level two cybernetic implants. We don't have any of those yet. Um, skill point both demolitions and stealth. Maybe, but he doesn't, he doesn't strike me as the stealthy type. So we'll actually go with leveling up his rapid fire. Yeah, except. All right, he's good for now. What? Well, it's a good what? thing I brought the droid then. That's a regular door. We don't want to open regular doors. We want to open locked doors. Hey, what's the idea of barging in here? Get out of here, or I'll call the guards. The guards! Slaves aren't allowed out of the slave quarters. Hey, baby, wait. I wasn't actually going... Damn it! Okay, great. You just scared off my date for the night. So you better explain yourself before I lose my temper and call the guards. Um, no need to call the guards. I just got lost. Uh uh. No Fuck. way. You're not getting out of this mess that easy. Uh, you can freak. explain yourself to the guards <laughs> if you live long enough for them to question you. Well, this guy's gonna have to be made not a problem. What? Three on one, bruh. Not a good move. Oh, jeez. Is that the guards? Yep. Get him. There we go. Uh, what you got? Iron grenade credits. What's in the box? Med pack, computer spike, and credits. Why am I still in battle music? I am not fighting anymore. Uh, what's in this footlocker? We didn't check this before we left. Med pack credits, computer spike. Nice. Don't mind if I do. Okay. So that's where the guard came from. What's down this way? More security doors. Well. We know what to do about that. 
Ooh, stuff. Somebody very good at their craft is in this room. Was in this room. Uh, hair trigger and Pazak card. Okay. Security. Data pad, 100 credits, and more Pazak cards. Okay. I'll take it. Who are you? Why are you here? Get, get out or me call guards. Sorry, wrong room. Get out! No bother me more! Sure. Okay. Uh, you got a box in there. Med pack parts and credits. Thanks, friend. Uh, what's further down this way? Slave quarters? Probably, right? Ladies, ladies. There's enough Welcome beef and spice to go around. Here we have succulent fruits and berries to tempt your palate, as well as luxurious baths to soothe your aches and pains. Okay. <laughs> Now this is my kind of place. I am not Would surprised. You like a relaxing massage. Whatever your desire, <laughs> we are here to serve. I don't have time for that kind of thing right now. Return whenever you wish to partake of what is offered here. We exist only to serve you. What do you what do you say? Quarters, master. Here we have Same thing. Would you Same like thing. It? Yep. No. Nope. We're all good. Be gone, thoughts. Uh, med pack, parts, and credits. Good to go. Alright, I guess we carry on to where the guards came from. Yeah. Checked all the rooms here. Big room? Offshoot. Let's check the offshoot. Totally expected more guards. Just saying. Security terminal. Oh, hello. Don't mind me. Oh, never mind. Don't use the grenade. No, why? Why did you do it there, bruh? Use a med pack. Yeah, goober. Okay. And another one down. Another one bites the dust. Find out, don't, don't, don't. Ba -ba -ba -bow -bow -bow. Uh, security terminal. Let's see what we can see. Oh no, not you, not you. You're not good at this. Hold on. Yeah. He is. Yeah, one spike instead of two. Uh, system commands open all security doors. No, we can open them. Uh, so far. I'll have to remember this terminal's here in case I need to do that. Uh, I will take the map though. That's nice. Disable hangar security. Oh. Oh no. Uh. Check the cameras. Oh. Gas the room? It's only one spike. I'm pretty sure we get the XP for this, too. That sucks, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, barracks. Throne room. More gassing. The droid's not gonna die, though. Is it? Okay, that would be silly. Oh. Okay, I guess it will. I did not expect that. Storage. Uh, no, we're not gonna worry about that. No, no, no. It's just one guy. A uh, hangar? Oh, that's where we are. Wait, if we're at the hangar, I need to go back. Uh, barrack storage. Barrack. Hangar. Wait. The guest room. Oh. 
Another person imprisoned. Okay. Uh, the hangar itself. I don't see any baddies. We're going to save our spikes and fight whatever else there is. Yeah, look at all that XP. Wonderful. Sure. But we need to go. Uh, where's the hangar? The hangar's here? We're not going there yet. We have far too much to explore first. You're crazy just letting me roam the halls like this. Oh. Hi. Another one down. Another. Get him. Get him. There we go. Go ahead and use a heal. Droid, please use a heal. Okay. It's better. There's nothing in these canisters. Okay, there's one one canister that has loot. I was expecting at least one, you know? Med pack, yay. Uh, let's see here. Aha! That shield does nothing. It does against Cantorus, but not me. There we go. Alright, we'll start at the back and make our way out. What's, uh, remains? Computer pass card and energy shield. Hey, whoa. Good duck, by the way. Come on. Beat him up. Alright, thank you. Go get that one, too. All right, let's find out about this poor guy. Cage release, there we go. Oh, come on. Pathing, I swear. Thank you. You have no idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more I could take before going mad. I couldn't sit by and just let you suffer. I don't have anything to give you as a reward for freeing me. <clears throat> Nothing tangible, anyway. But I've got information that could be worth a fortune. Dumb. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. You can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. All right, you're free to go. It won't be long until Davik figures out I'm free. I have to get out of this base before that happens. All right. Deuces. We've got what we came for. We should get going. No, we still have like two, three rooms, maybe more to go through here, bud. We got we got the barracks. We got more barracks. Do you know how much loot is in there? You know how many people we've already killed that we need to go get the loot from? Come on. What? You're in a hurry, I'm not. Nobody. Okay. Strong bots. Ion grenades, computer sp uh, security spikes, armor reinforcement, heavy blaster, and advanced med pack. That's a good box. Excuse me. And 500 credits. Can't complain. Especially with how much we spent before we did this. Remains. More remains. That was a frag grenade. Nice. Frag grenade and credits. There seems to be all the loot in this room. We gotta go out to the big room. Yes. Throne room. Right. And then here's the... Wait. We've already been here. 
Maybe not. Maybe it's just yeah. another computer. Alright, let's get the droid. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Nighty night droid. And then. Candorous. Yeah. Bruh. You guys are making things difficult. For no reason. Okay. But didn't we already disable the security for the hangar? I don't know if that's something different. Use access card, uh, system commands, open all security. We don't need to do that. Disable hangar security. Okay, so that was a separate option. And we'll return to the root, log out. Cool. Now we got one more room to check out. Ew. Disable. Disable it. There you go. And let's see what's in this canister. Repair kit, parts, spikes, and med packs. Good, because we needed spikes. All right, it looks like we have fully looted this area. It's time to actually go in the hangar and uh, make our way off this rock. <clears throat> Damn, no shit, they're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on us sooner or Of course they would. Look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. Yep. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turn the planet into dust? <coughs> also, yep. Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and will kill us all. Well, sounds like y'all definitely need to go. Uh, who do we focus? Probably the guy with the blasters so we can hit with some frags. Yeah, I'm gonna heal. And I'm gonna get in there. Get him. Uh, droid, heal. Oh, too late, droid. What? You may have me outnumbered and outgunned, but if I'm going down, I'm taking all of you with me. This thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. Hey! Not cool. Damn those shit. Now bring this whole hangar down around our ears. <laughs> ha ha. Not my problem. Alright, uh, can you still use a repair kit? No, you're down. Oh, yeah, you can. How about that? Oh, we're out of combat. That's why. And it looks like Davik's down, too. Let's go get, see what he's got. Gimme, give gimme. Give Remains. Arcanian she energy shield. Oh, the Arcanian set. I remember that one from Swotor. That was a nice set. Uh, heavy blaster, Davik's war suit, Davik's visor, all kinds of goodies. Hold on, I know this isn't gonna blow up. I don't have a timer running. Silly game, trying to make me think I'm in danger. I'm the main character. All right, let's get on the Evan Hawk. We're taking damage though. Jeez. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Board. Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends, and then we'll have to get off this planet. That's the idea. <clears throat> Sir, they're in position. Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. <laughs> Yes. 
Yeah, sounds like the Malik thing to do. Do, 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 Please don't freeze on me. Okay, all right, I had to click. Okay. For Dantooine. There's a Jedi enclave there where we Do I get to shoot some stuff? Incoming fighters. Quickly, to the gun turrets. Absolutely. We have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. There. Where are the rest of them? Oh, sensitivity's bad. Oh, it's bad. There we go. There we go. There we go. Is that all of them? No, it's not. Okay. Is that all of them? Yay! Oh, dang it. I didn't mean to skip the. Oh. Seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on the surface. Though in truth, it's only been a few months. We should be safe from Malak here. For now, at least. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They, they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. I agree with Bastila. We should be safe here. We can get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of an entire planet. I know Meshin must be taking it pretty hard. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the Council. I need their advice on recent developments. After I've met with them, I will meet you outside the ship. Okay. I've spoken briefly <clears throat> to the Council. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. An audience with the Jedi Council? It's pretty unusual for someone who isn't even a Jedi. What's this about, Bastila? I'm sorry, Karth, but I cannot tell you. All I ask is that you trust in the Force and the wisdom of the Council. Well, I don't like being left out of the loop, but I'm not looking to get you in any trouble with the Jedi Masters. We'll do things your way for a while. Come, they're expecting us. I will lead you to the council chambers. All right. Until you've talked with the Jedi Council, you'll be unable to switch characters in and out of the party. All right. In that case. You there, Padawan. Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honor tradition? Best luck. Okay. Uh, excuse me. I believe you are mistaken. I am not a Padawan. I am Amathor Amathorian Taurun. I came here with Bastila. Bastila? I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I've heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But Woman. As for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? 
I find this hard to believe. You have no idea. The force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type Thanks. of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. I'm telling you the truth. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. Yeah, it was. Master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. Indeed. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the Force be with you. Thank you. How rude. Uh, we'll explore over there after. Uh, what? That's that's the way she went. Oh, okay. Just probably a weird glitch, clipping issue. Who knows? All right, Karth. Wait, what do you have to say? They're waiting for you inside. They're waiting. For okay, that's all right. Fair enough. Ah, so you are the one who rescued Bastila. Yes. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vrook, Master Vandar, and of course the Chronicler of our Academy, Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. Yes. What do you want from me? Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. Nothing would give me greater honor than learning the ways of the Jedi. Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. <clears throat> we need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this man. And I've already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. Hater. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? Probably not. The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? I am willing to try my best. Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training. <clears throat> there are rare exceptions in the history of our order, but you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead... Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. Fair. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. Okay. Ooh, a vision. I wonder why Malik ended up wearing the, dark the mask. Side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Star Forge so valuable? <clears throat> Can its power truly be worth the risk? It's 
pretty damn strong. This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you should <clears throat> keep them waiting. Did she say anything else? No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall, and for that matter, neither do you. Are you all right? I had a rough night. Let's go. You got it. Uh, we'll take Karth and the bot. I love droids, so... Oh, Karth has... Oh, a conversation. Speak to Karth. Yes, what's on your mind? I want to continue our discussion from before. I thought I said I don't want to talk about it. Don't you think you'd feel better if you discussed it? Not particularly. I, I guess it wouldn't hurt exactly either, though I, I, I don't know why you're so interested. When I think of all the men who betrayed us, the one that stands out above all of them is the one that I respect the most. Saul. You say that name like I should know it. You don't. I thought everyone did. But Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well in the war. Oh. Saul was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier, and I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. I, I argued with him, and he got angry, and he left. I never saw him again. You didn't think he would betray the Republic? Saul was my mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. I mean, even when things looked to be at their worst, I just I couldn't conceive it. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. I remember waking up as the first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. I'm not going to stop him. Could have stopped it all. So you blame yourself for trusting your friend? I blame Saul, not myself. I was I was stupid and I ignored the danger. He nearly destroyed us all. No, I fought Saul for years now, and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret what he's done. He will regret it. It's terrible. I feel awful for you. Well, there's more to the story, I guess. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go. Touchy. Just wanted to show a little compassion. That's all. Aerotech Mercantile. Don't they make speeders? Um, Outer Courtyard. Jedi Council Chamber. We got time. Oh, Karth, we need to level him up real quick. Uh, attributes. Dex. Okay. Skills. Um, we'll do awareness. And then feats. Why did I give him dual wield weapons? Wait, did that help with blasters? It might have. Uh, that's probably why I got it. But let's give him some conditioning. And then accept. And he's done. Alright. Bastila has told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected, if Revan and Malak found something there. 
Yes, they seem to be searching for something. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you, as it acts through Bastila. I trust in your greater wisdom. You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force, and each other. This is not unheard of. Connections often form between master and student, but rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, <clears throat> we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us, together. Are you saying I'm joined with her? You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. But do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? Yes, I am ready for whatever awaits me. Understand that there is little choice in this matter. For you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side. Giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their Dark Lord. How can he be stopped? Perhaps our hope lies in the dream you and Bastilla shared. The Council has come to the conclusion that you and Bastilla must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of. Perhaps there you will find some clue, <coughs> some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted. And perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. I'm ready now. I accept this mission. The Force flows through you like no student we have ever seen. But you're willful and headstrong. A dangerous combination. Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. As you wish, Master Vandar. We must begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our Order. A Jedi is never alone. Others in the Order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited. And your progress, amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You've done in weeks what many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first you must prove yourself worthy. Okay. Uh, what must I do to prove myself? In the traditions and customs of our Order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. I am ready for the test, Master Jar. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both <clears throat> mental and physical. 
Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. Let's see if I remember it, guys. Greetings, my young pupil. Your progress has been most remarkable so far. Are you here to continue your training in the ways of the Jedi? Yes. I am ready to continue my training. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, <coughs> the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first you must prove yourself worthy. In the traditions and customs of our Order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations. Why is he saying the same thing again? Hold on. Uh. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given. Both first. Okay. Will test your knowledge of the Jedi. Code. There we go. These tenets must always guide your actions uh -huh. in everything you do. You must. You must now prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the code by completing these fundamental precepts of our order. Right. There is no emotion. Only... There is no emotion. There is... Peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is... The Force. That is not correct. Dang it! There is no return. I was close. Hold on. Greeting. Uh, I'm ready to continue my training. Soon. In Let's try this again. I'm ready for the tests. Thank you. Thank you. No emotion. There is peace. There is no. There is knowledge. There is no. There is. It wasn't peace. Wait, or is it peace? That is not. Damn it! There is return. I don't remember what I said the first time. Ah, uh, brain failing me now. All right. These. There. Okay. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is the force. That is not. Dang it! There is no shame in admitting weakness. Okay, so the last one must be peace. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Process of elimination, guys. It works. No emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is the light. That is not. Dang it! What? There is okay, let's try this again, sir. I'm about ready to just look up the code. There. Emotion. <clears throat> Peace. There. Ignorance, knowledge. There. Passion. What do we? What do we put? What? What? What do we put for passion? Peace. That is not. There oh my is gosh. Peace. Okay, I don't have the brain for this right now. Let's look this up. Killing myself here. Uh, the Jedi Code. Emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. And there is no chaos. There is harmony. Alright. Alright. I should have known harmony was the opposite of chaos. What is going on here? These uh, there's no emotion. There's peace. There is no ignorance. There's knowledge. There is no passion. There is. Okay, serenity. I was right. There is no. There is. Harmony. There is no death. There is the force. Why is the last one missing? Yeah, there is the force. Okay. You have learned your studies well, apprentice. It will not be long <clears throat> before you are a full member of our order. But first, you must pass the second test and learn about the most prized possession of a Jedi, the very symbol of our order, the lightsaber. Oh, the yes. The lightsaber is the traditional weapon of our order. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, 
dedication and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The blade is made of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. As the second test, each Jedi must construct his lightsaber with his own hands. And now it is right on. time. Speak with Master Dorak, and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal. Good deal. All right. Well, we are at time. In the next episode, we will be completing our lightsaber and moving on to whatever adventures await us as Jedi. But now, we are a Jedi. Pretty great. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good morning, day, evening, and good night. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode.